What's good, my YouTube fam? It's Retro Gamer Yasuke here, and today we are at the final zone of 8 bit Sonic 2 for the Sega Master System. I always fall there. Um. Now, this ain't gonna be too hard. Can't speak for the boss, though. Wait till we get over there. Now, if you've been using my playthrough as a guide to beat this game, you notice uh, my last, I want to say, two levels, I've been trying to do my uh, walkthrough speech as I play the game. But you can really just watch my gameplay and uh, not be confused. Because I kind of explained things that was complicated for me. And remember, if you have the power, I already passed it, but if you have the power to get 77 rings... Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Don't do what I just did. Stay on the high ground and try to grab those rings. So you can get yourself a 1-up. Or an extra continue if you can hold your 77 rings at the end of the level. Um... Still riding it? Well, shoot. Manifest Destiny. Let's go. That's it. Alright. Got some coins. I mean, some rings. You guys know when I say coins, I do mean rings. Sonic game. I play a lot more Mario than I do Sonic. Oh. Well, that was easy. I fell. I landed on the platform. Dope. So, as you can see, you definitely want to fall at the beginning of that high ground section and not towards the end because, well, you saw how many spikes was there. This uh, music is interesting. Oop. Sucks. I hate that kind of job. I never hit it. If you make it to this part of the game, don't act like the last level is going to be extremely hard because it's really not. Usually, how games are, they give you a little uh, reprieve at the end. This is hours. Sort of like Green Hill Zone, just a little bit more complicated. Not too bad. Oh crap! Oof. Don't want to get hit by that. All right, I hold right for that. So I gain my speed. I don't know where I'm at, so I'm just pressing right and jumping. It appears that what I did was the right thing. It's like two one-ups in this level alone, which is good. Ah, 
one-up. I wish I could see how many one-ups I actually had. Because that would be awesome. And it would suck if you grabbed a one-up, right? Sorry about uh, my mic cutting out in uh, Act 2. I should have known better. Oh my gosh. So it appears I don't have to touch anything when I get inside the pipe. As long as I, you know, press the direction. Of I don't know how many times I hit this man. But we're just gonna say once. I gotta hit this man ten times. We're gonna count that as two. And I think I have to hit him ten times. I think it's like twelve or something like that, to be honest. I'm gonna stop counting, so it doesn't make me nervous. Oh! Oh, I beat his ass! I beat his ass! You 
they about to outrun me though. How you outrunning Sonic? How are you outrunning Sonic? Seriously. Yeah! Give me my tail. Hey! did this yesterday you guys oh you don't know who that is sonny it's funny i'm pressing buttons you don't know who it is i feel accomplished not only did i beat 8-bit sonic 1 on sega master system i beat 8-bit sonic 2 now i will say this game was extremely hard man extremely hard Way harder than 8-Bit Sonic 1, for sure. But, if you follow my guide, I went through, or not my guide, uh, like my playthrough. I went through, I beat the levels, I got all the Chaos Emeralds, my score probably wasn't top-notch. I didn't take too many deaths on screen, right? <laughs> but I definitely took some deaths. Man. That was one section that, uh... I said it was too easy. I think I called it uh, Green Hills was, was too easy. I ain't gonna lie, man. When I fought the boss of that level, I think I did 100 takes. Like, no. Literally, it was like 75 takes to get to the boss. Because I couldn't see where I was jumping to. Those blind jumps of fakes was uh, killing me. the little character. It's it's weird, doesn't it? Tails look like it's moving back. Oh, now he looks like he's moving forward. But he's not making no progress forward. If he is... Oh, he is making progress. It's just like pixel by pixel. I see it now. But yeah, it took so long to beat this. Well, nah, it wasn't so long. I back up like, I probably was sitting on the boss level yesterday, and then I played it four or five times, I said, you know what, fuck it, let me go make some dinner. So I had to make me some, uh, coconut rice and some, um, chicken marsala, some stuff. Oh, no, yeah, chicken marsala, that's what it's called, yeah. And I decided I'll, ch I'll check on it tomorrow, and today was tomorrow, so I'll beat it. Now, if you didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds, you definitely got the bad ending. The bad ending is not really a bad ending, right? Quote unquote. It's just Tails is. It looks like Tails died if you didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds. That's why it's needed to get them all. That's why I made it a point to get them all because I didn't want to get a bad ending. You know, I don't be doing 100 percent on games, but the Chaos Emeralds needed for a good um, ending. And then the way they're positioned, the star, it's like Dr. You see how that star is like right above Tails' eye? It just looks like that's where, you know what I'm saying, Dr. Eggman popped him. That was it. Where did she rub? Yep, that's the end of the game. It's probably going to give me that game over screen, which matters not. It's just saying the game is over. That's what it does. I grabbed, I grabbed everything you could grab in this game, so that's just telling you the game over. It's a weird choice of game over to use the same game over screen for the game over. Anyway, um, yeah, let me uh, give out some shout outs. First, I missed one shout out when I was giving all the shout outs last video, um, so he's going to go first. His name is Random Geek. And then. Ghouls, Monsters, and Castlevania are us. Adventuring Orfish, check him out. He's the reason why I'm playing 8-Bit Sonic 2. He suggested it. So definitely give his channel a follow and everyone else that I'm naming. Oh, um, Ghouls, Monsters, and Castlevania are us. He has a Twitch now. So you guys must follow him on Twitch as well. Um, you know, he's a cool cat. Check him out. All right, we got Lorenzo Sleeve Stack, LCX Wolf Pack, K2J Extreme, and he got 
right. And um, Karumi, the Retro Gaming Hero 26, and Amateur Hour 64. So that's all the people you guys should give likes to, follows to, subscribe to, you know what I'm saying, their YouTube channel. And then, of course, like I said before, Ghouls, Monsters, and Castlevania are us. He is also on Twitch. Now, if anybody else is on Twitch, I am sorry. I don't know. I, You know what I'm saying? I don't be on Twitch like that. Game, I mean, Ghouls, Monsters, and Castlevania RS is the only person I know that's on Twitch. Hell, I have a Twitch and I barely get on it. <laughs> and my name's different on Twitch. Uh, I use the same name that I use for my video games. Yasuke Hero. H-I-R-O. You know what I'm saying? That's how I go. Anyway, yeah. Well, we reached the end of this video, and I'm glad that you guys made it to the end of 8-Bit Sonic 2 series with me for Sonic September. So I guys want you guys to have a great rest of your day, and you'll definitely catch me in the next one. Peace.